Hey everyone, it's Tanya Evoy here from the Evoy Real Estate Team and Remax Affiliates. And today I wanted to shoot a quick video just giving you five tips on what to do as soon as you move into your new house. So we have a few closings this month and I know uh, this is probably something that a lot of buyers aren't even considering because you get really overwhelmed when you're moving in and you're excited and of course you're packing and unpacking, but there are five things that we recommend that you do as soon as you move into your new property. So the first one is you wanna change your locks. That one is a pretty simple one, typically goes without saying, but there's a lot of keys that get transferred during showings and closings, especially now during COVID. So it's always recommended to change your locks for security reasons, obviously. One thing that you wanna consider though is the finish if you're changing the deadbolts um, or anything that you wanna consider the finish that you might be renovating for in the future, right? So you don't wanna to have to turn around and change them again in a year's time. Another thing is if you want to install a home monitoring system, this is also a really great time because you can coordinate it with your locks and um, you could do a nest and you could tie in your um, furnace controls if that's your thing. So all of those, changing your security locks and um, putting in a camera if that's something that you wanna do. So that's step number one. Step number two is removing the toilet seats. So it sounds small and maybe not that big of a deal to some people, but the reality is it's always good to start with a clean toilet seat. And if you can take the toilet seat off, then you're better able to clean in and around the hardware. And then this would be the time where you would obviously purchase new ones, put them on. Um, they have some really cool ideas out now for if you have children, you can have the smaller seat inside of it. Um, they even have seats with night lights, which I think are a fantastic idea, um, and cushion seats if you ever want one of those. So uh, just checking out newer seats and uh, being prepared with new toilet seats when you change your other ones out is a really good idea. And number three, so uh, this is a pretty easy one too. It's fairly quick, inexpensive, but it makes a big difference. So you wanna change out your furnace and AC filters. So the main reason that you do this obviously is to improve your air quality, but if you suffer or somebody in your family suffers from any type of allergies, then it helps to reduce that as well. The other thing is a lot of people don't realize this, but it can reduce your energy consumption between five and 10%. So it helps to save you money, it takes literally two minutes to do and it's super efficient. So we highly recommend doing that as soon as you move in as well. The next thing is checking your smoke and CO2 detectors. Again, this probably would have been checked in your home inspection if you had one, but a lot of people right now we're noticing are not even going in with home inspections, but obviously this is a very, very important one because you wanna be safe. It literally, again, takes two minutes to do. Make sure all of the smoke detectors, CO2 detectors are working and consider upgrading them. So obviously the hard wire in ones are much better because they're going to um, they're going to be consistent power. And so if that's something that you can consider doing, then go ahead and do that. The next thing is uh, checking the drainage and the venting in the house. So when I talk about drainage, I'm talking about the exterior drainage of the house. So especially if you're buying in the winter or in the spring and the wet season, you wanna make sure all your eaves troughs are draining away from the house. Sometimes they can get shifted during a move or in bad weather even. So making sure that the eaves are not clogged and that they're draining away from the house. So this obviously will prevent water entry, um, but it's also just a really good idea to make sure you don't have water coming in around your foundation. Um, and then the venting. So this is a common one that we usually always post in the winter because if you are uh, moving into a house and you've got snow in the area and sometimes the snow will creep up over around your furnace vent, you wanna make sure that's completely cleaned out. There's no obstructions in your furnace venting system. Obviously that would be a really bad thing to have that clogged. Um, so we wanna keep you safe and that we hope that you check your furnace venting as well. So that's it, that's five tips for um, keeping yourself safe, but also things that you can do as soon as you move into your home. It'll help you sleep better, it'll help to keep the value of your home going, and then also keeping you safe. So if you ever have any questions about any of these home tips, please feel free to reach out. We would love to connect with you. We hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.